Hey everyone, it's Paulina. So I know you know this is a thrift flip video, but I just want to give you a quick little disclaimer before I start. So I only know the basics of sewing. I know how to use a sewing machine, so we are going to be using that. I know how to measure my clothes and sew them back together. Just the basics, and I'm sure that's why you're here. And also, if you're seeing this, the things that I wanted to thrift flip went good, went fine, so... We're good to go, I just wanted to put that out there. So what I'm saying is, this is a learning process for all of us. And I'm really excited because once you actually wear what you made, it's just like a proud moment so let's jump right into the video okay here's the first dress it's very loose very non-flattering on my body obviously but i picked it up because i like the pattern and i just envisioned how i'm gonna do it because i saw this picture on pinterest earlier and i was like i want that dress this pattern reminded me of it so i was like why not just thrift flip it this is an extra large so i have a lot of fabric to work with and this is the style i'm going for so the very first thing that we're doing is just flipping the dress inside out so the right sides can be touching each other Now here I'm just laying the dress down as flat as possible, trying to get out any wrinkles to get ready for the next step. Moving on to the next step, I just grabbed this dress out of my closet because it fits my body really well. Here I'm just laying it flat on top of the other dress and I make sure that I'm positioning it right in order to use it as a tracing guide. Now all I'm doing here is tracing the black dress using a marker and making dotted lines all throughout the dress. After tracing the black dress, I took it off and started cutting only one side of the colorful dress. You want to do this instead of grabbing the whole dress and cut it in one piece because it'll end up looking crooked or you just have a chance of messing up more. So only cut it on one side of the dress first for better results. Pause, do not do what I just did on this part. You see how I flipped the remaining of the dress to the wrong side and started placing the freshly cut piece on top of that? Do not do that. What I'm doing here is pinning it down with some pins before I cut it so it's easier for the dress to stay in place as I'm cutting it, but because of my mistake, I had to do double the work. So here's where I noticed that I messed up. I flipped it around and I realized I pinned them down wrong. So it's still easily fixable, but just more work. If you're confused, pretend that I never pinned them down wrong and cut the dress. Instead, have the right sides touching as how I'm doing right now is just fixing it by flipping it and just have the right sides touching each other while one of the wrong sides is facing you and the other wrong side is facing the ground. Now that we're all caught up, I'm just redoing my mistake and pinning it down correctly this time, and then I was meant to cut it afterwards. After pinning it all down, the last step is sewing it all together. I don't go into detail on how to use a sewing machine, so if you'd like a more in-depth video on that, I would love to know. But you can also sew by hand, which is perfectly fine as well, it's just a longer process. I sewed my dress all around using a zigzag stitch, and you can't really tell here, but I'm leaving the arm and neck holes open so you can obviously go through them. So after sewing the dress down, I decided to add a last minute U-neck collar on the dress by using a marker and a ruler. It honestly depends on how you do it because the size of the dress is different for everyone, or you can just freehand it. Now the last thing you want to do is sew the hem in place in the arm and neck holes so they don't roll up, and you're done. So this is the next piece I'm working with. Obviously, there's a lot of fabric to work with. This is originally a shirt, but I just picked it up because I thought it was a skirt and then it ended up being a shirt. So this one's very simple. All I'm going to do is cinch this part so it can fit better and then cut it from here and make it shorter. Just to turn it into a little mini skirt. The easiest way to do this if you're a beginner is by having two or more clips already in hand. And just pinch the skirt using your fingers and then clip the clips on where you feel best fits. And to cut it shorter, I fold the bottom of the skirt to the length that I want and I add a clip to the front and back. Simple as that. Next, I lay the skirt as flat and wrinkle-free as possible like I did with the dress. This is only to secure that you won't be sewing things weirdly. Now, I'm just pinning down some pins in a triangle-like shape. I don't know if you can tell there. 
but it's just to make sure that I follow them when I begin to sew. For the bottom of the skirt, I honestly just eyeballed it, but you can always have it flipped inside out and use a ruler and a marker to make a straight line and it's ready to cut. Now this last detail, I did the same thing like I did with the cinching on the top. I just put some pins in the triangle-like shape to make the skirt fit better on me. Okay, so the way that I'm sewing the skirt to my right fit is by following the triangle shape I made from the pins because the rest of the skirt fits my body so I don't really have to make any alterations to it other than the top corners. And then here I'm doing the same thing with the bottom corners. And don't forget to cut the excess fabric off. Now all that's left with the skirt is sewing the hem on, so here I am pinning down the end of the skirt first to make it easier for me to sew the hem later and be done with my new mini skirt. For this one, I already said before, this is originally a shirt, like the sleeves are right here. And what I'm gonna do, turn it into another mini skirt with three little frillies like this. And just turn it into a cute little skirt, so I'm really excited. This is fairly easier than the other two, like for starters. I was gonna lay it flat on the ground again, but then I realized that I just had to cut the top part off first. I did this off camera, but I did the same method I used for the zebra skirt. And just for a little recap, I tried on the skirt and then I pinched it with my fingers and then added some clips for it to stay in place. The only difference this time is that I tried it on inside out just to make it easier for me when I sew. And here I'm just adding pins in a triangle like shape again to use it as a guide when I start sewing. Okay guys, moment of truth. I'm trying it on right now. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it actually fits so well. Okay, 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 okay. You can't tell me that this isn't cute. The collar part is a little bit wanky, messed up, but for the first try, this is actually really cute. It's like super fitted, right my size, not even extra fabric like on the back, how they usually is. It's just perfect. And the pattern looks even better now. Definitely gonna be wearing this out. I'm gonna be proud of it. Ooh, look at this mini skirt. She is the one. Obviously you can cut it to the length that you want because I was going for more of a mini skirt and this is perfect. Fits me good. I feel like the back still has a little bit of space but I can quickly hand sew that part with no problem. So here's how it looks. Even with this top, it looks really cute. I'm definitely gonna have way more outfits to go out in. This last one, I'm really proud of it. I honestly thought I was gonna mess up since it has so much fabric or I would have like sewed something in. But here it is, very cute. Very much nature, fairy tale, forest girl vibes. Look. <laughs> Overall, it is super cute. I love how it fits and it doesn't suffocate my body. So that's good. Honestly, as I was sewing, I thought I accidentally like cinched it in too much. It's perfect. I love it. And I'm totally gonna wear this, y'all. I completely forgot that when I cut off the shirt, I still left this one frill on. I'm probably going to sew this shirt to my right fit, but this looks super cute. Okay, guys, so that's all the thrift flips I have for you today. Let me know which one is your favorite. Honestly, for some reason, I just knew that they were going to go right because I already had the idea planned in my head and how it was going to go. I'm definitely going to be doing some more of these because I've been putting this video off for like a year now. When I have more time, I'll make more thrift flips. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye!